Hello, welcome back. Misty Vell here. And uh, yeah, so last time I bred, I think, almost all of my mares. So let's see. Uh, so somebody had a foal. Nice. I think it was Night Sky. Let's go see who's had a foal. And uh, yeah. Gather this stuff up. Let's go see who had a foal and how far along everybody else is. Oh, and the gates are all closed. Lovely. Hello, my dear. How are you? So this is Rise Lucky. She doesn't need to be brushed. So I give her a little carrot. She's so black. Oh my gosh. That color is just like no other color can get. Oh, look at you. Okay, come on, guys. Look how cute you. Dapple Buckskin Tavero. So we got a Buckskin Tavero. Nice. Hello, cuteness. Love the legs. All right. So, oh, look at you two. That's so cute. I know it's a glitch, but it still looks adorable. Okay. Oh, and we got another pair separated. Hello, lovely. Let's see. Well, I thought I bred all my mares. Did I not bred all my mares? I thought I bred all my mares. Get all these forageables up. Let's see, this is my stallion hot chocolate. Hey, buddy. Yep, okay. All right, I'm trying to find everybody. I, there's beauty. Okay, well, I guess we're doing a rebreed. Who are you? Ah, this is my other stallion. Antique Desert. So beauty, are you stuck? No, you're not stuck. Okay. So now we're just going to breed all the other mares. Since it said somebody had a foal, but I'm not seeing anybody unless it's this this little guy. Ooh, an onyx black pentaloosa. Yeah. I might have gotten this the last one because he looks a little big or she looks a little big. Somebody had a foal, but this is perfect. Absolutely what I was going for. Another color of Pentaloosa besides Palomino. Not that there's anything wrong with that. That bald face. So that's Night Sky. You're not pregnant. Oh, here you go. And a flax and light Palomino Pentaloosa with the blue eyes. It's so cute. Such a cute little baby. We're going to have all the Pentaloosas and Tuveros here. No more Appies or plain colors. <laughs> Only loud colored babies are allowed. Just kidding. Look at the little blue eyes. They're so stinking cute. Okay, so we're going to breed... S I think Smokey's got a full. I think this is Smokey's full. This is another black Pintaloosa. Nice. Oh, and there's another... Oh, is that the one I just saw? Is that Night Sky's full? So we're going to breed Smokey. Yeah, this is Night Sky's full. I love this bald face such an amazing super so we've got looks like three pentaloosas oh hello who are you dapple black to Ooh, look how pretty look how pretty this baby is oh my goodness so we did breed all the mares <laughs> we just got to breed them again once they're look how cute i kind of wish you could breed the the Toveros and the and the Pintas together and get a mix of that, but that's not going to happen. So you're a nursing mom. No, you're not a nursing mom. So we're going to get you to have a baby. We're going to get some others to have a baby. Beauty needs a full. This one, I think you're a mare now. Stallion. Spot keep. So we can breed Spot, who's an ash black Pintalusa. Um... Oh, wow. Okay. So we could breed him with everybody but Smokey. Well, technically we could breed him with Smokey. Because, uh, yeah, inbreeding doesn't matter in this game. So let's continue breeding. We've got some lovely babies. It's going to be hard to decide who to keep. So Silver Dap... Silver 
dapple black Tobiano with a coal black Tobiano. So that would just give us a Tobiano. So let's see what, oh, okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Remove forces, sorry, my bad. <laughs> hit the wrong thing, hit the wrong button, hit the wrong finger, mm, I can't talk. I didn't want antique desert, I wanted spot keep to breed the Pentalusa to breed with the black Tobiano and see what we get. So we've got that. Hello cuteness, you are so stinking cute. Yes, you are. Look how cute you are with your little socks. Okay. So we've got one, two, three folds. Hi, Smokey. Hi, Mama. I know I'm losing all my potential on my horses, but you know what? Breeding is fun. Here you go, Mama. So she'll be nursing for five more days. Let's do your mane. See the button braids and some black. There you go. Because it's spring now. So let's see one. So the next I want to breed Rise Lucky. And then um, we will see what we get. So it's odd she had. So this is Golden Star. Okay. And that's Blushing Pearl. So, okay, we've got a couple more Taveras. Um, what is your, I think you're a hundred percent. Yeah, you're a hundred percent. You can take the foals to the, um, round pen. You are not a hundred percent, but you still have a ton of potential. So let's see what we can do with you. Um, we're going to do roach. <laughs> I'm going to do that. And then we're going to do a long straight tail with that. And then we're going to take you away and do some training. So you need, everything's pretty much even. So your lowest is flex. So then we'll do flex and speed. Flexibility. Actually, let me do this. Always hit these rings if you can, because you never know what you're going to get. So sometimes it can be potential. Sometimes it can be um, energy. Like everybody's been in the pasture, so that three quarter, they're at three quarters of energy. So every little bit helps. And this just gave her a little bit more potential, which is awesome. So flex is at 79. Um, actually, we'll go to jump next. Give you a watermelon. So I'm not going to do, because I want to train a couple more horses, I'm not going to do a second round of the flex training or any of the other trainings so that I can leave it open for my other horses. But I am going to go over here and get these. Oops, uh, that's not what I wanted. So you can get some red flowers while you're here at this spot. Some Timothy, which we're probably going to need. Nope. Okay. You hear any noises? It's my cat grooming herself or purring. She has a very oil, uh, weird rumbly purr. It sounds like she needs to be oiled when she purrs. <laughs> She's very sweet, aren't you? Yes, you are. Her name is Bootsy, or Boots. I call her Bootsy. She's a good girl. She just has a really loud vocal voice. Some cats do. Some cats just like to talk a lot and she does like to talk a lot. She wants her to tell you her opinion on everything. Most importantly, the fact that you're not petting her enough. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, this is just such a chill game. Look at this straight tail. It's like a show tail, show jump. Like she's competing in an English show show. Wow, I cannot talk. Like she's competing in an English show jumping class. Okay, we're gonna go over here and get that. More potential. I don't see any flowers, so we're gonna go and she still has half of her energy. So we're gonna go and do some speed. Since her jump is now at 81, her flex is 79, so we're gonna do her speed and see if we can catch up on that just a teeny bit. Uh, meadow. I always have to talk it out because I forget where everything is. And we're also going to get this little circle down here. Oh, we got a thousand dollars. Yay! Love the money. We're almost at a mill, which is amazing. It'll be my first mill. And then we will probably skip a couple of days just to increase everybody who's got a full now. Um, but what will probably happen is I'll sleep. Um, I'm going to do a couple more training sessions and then I'll sleep. And then um, see who. Okay, speed's 82, endurance is 81, 81, 79. Awesome. Um, and then see if uh, our child is pregnant our youngest that we just our horse that we just put into the breeding pen is pregnant our child <sighs> um, if she's pregnant then I'm not gonna sleep sleep for another day I'll pull her out and then sleep a couple of times and see what we get talking is just really hard sometimes uh, no go to the pasture I know and then I gotta check and make sure that I didn't leave anybody in the in the barn because that would not be the first time that that happened. Oh, you're going to come say hi to your mama. Oh, so cute. Actually, looks like you have your mama's pattern. Only she is, so she's Dapple Perlina. So I think the baby's a Dapple Buckskin too, Vera. Nice. Okay, so nobody's here. We still have two empty slots. Okay, three, uh... Spot didn't have his thing. Okay. So we're going to sleep and see if our mare is pregnant. And if she is, we'll pull her out. If she's not, we'll sleep a couple more days. Oh, I meant to train other people. I am so scatterbrained. Oh, Beauty's pregnant. Okay. And, ooh, Pine Forest. Yes, I'll look. Sorry about that. I am a scatterbrain. I'm going to train some other horses. No, I'm not. I'm just going to go to sleep. <laughs> Completely forgot. And don't forget, we now have forgeables over in this little corner. Uh, I got to go check my pears as well before I go into the pasture. And that is my cat trying to wake my mother up. Or our cat trying to wake my mother up. I can harvest everything and sell the extras. Yay! Just need one more tree to complete the whole mess here. Okay. And I'm not really hurting for money. That's why I'm not really um, <laughs> selling anything at, or gardening at this point. I will, but not just yet. Okay, everybody's doing good. The gates are all open. We'll put beauty in and then we will try and see if we can breed somebody else. Uh, eat. Oops, eat. Okay, so Rise Lucky is a Tovero. So I have two Tobianos now. So it's technically not going to matter. But I might try. I don't think. Yes, dear. Here she comes again. She couldn't wake mom up. Mom's sleeping too hard. Oh wait, I can't do... Oh, is he still a colt? Ah, oh, biscuit. Oh, there he is. I don't think anything is going to come between the Pentalusa and the Tavera. Well, look at that height difference. 14.3 and 15.2. 
but I just want to see what happens. Probably nothing. And do you still need to be trained? But your potential is gone. Okay. So is there any... Oh, I can do River Shine. I can do Pine Forest. We'd have to go Pine Forest anyway. So we could get him a bit more potential. So let's go to the town for a statue. So it takes about 10 win, 10 wins of a race to get the Rivershine town statue or any of the statues, basically. And this just takes a bit. Okay. So he's got a little bit more potential. So that means I can train him. So he's got 10%. Yeah, he's got, actually he's got 9%. Okay. So I want to train up his speed. His flex would be good. Speed and flex. And I don't know if that's gonna... So we'll just go to Rocky Mountain. Don't let me forget. Please don't let me forget. That we have horses at Pine Forest that I want to check out. I could sell one. So we're gonna do flex. Because that is his lowest. Oh. And we got a little bit more potential. So I'm super excited to see what the next uh, area, the Azure Coast, is going to look like. Really excited to see that. So, um, so Flex is now at 68. Um, so we'll save that for 60. We'll do another round and then we'll do speed. And then um, try and get that up. And then we'll go check the wild horses out and get him to Pine Forest and get a little bit more potential. If we have any left. Uh, and we're at zero. Okay. So now we have to go to Pine Forest anyways. Never mind. Never you mind. Oh, look, we got a pumpkin. You can also find pumpkins as well as Milo and the red flowers in Rocky Mountain. In case you didn't know. Whoa. Okay, let's go to Pine Forest. Look for the wild horses and gain a little bit more potential. Oh, that's... We're going to go to the horse statue and then we'll figure out where the wild horses are. Okay, we have... Let's see. Okay, so he gains. So the town statue is the only one that gives you potential. The others that you can do with what you want. The others will give you like this one just gave 5% endurance. So um, when you go to endurance now, he's at 79. So the other ones if you go to the horse statue in, in Rocky Mountain, it'll give you 5% flex, not potential. So Crystal Lake would give you 5% jump. Um, the one in Lupine Meadow will give you 5% speed. So that's another thing to take into account. Um, the, the Rivershine Town one is the only one that'll give you a little bit of potential, give you 10%. The others will give you 5% of whatever their stat is. Okay, so the wild horses are down here in between the endurance and the wild pen. So that means we can go down this way and they should be right down here. Ooh. Hang on while I stop and get some. Don't be walking off. Where do you think you're going, son? You and I got to round some horses up. There's Liam's. So they're this, there they are. Okay, let's see what we got. We got, looks like a bald place black. Looks like we got a chestnut. We got some Perlinos or Cremellos. A couple of chestnuts. Looks like a bay black. Is there anybody else that I haven't seen? All these little bunnies hopping around. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are Cremello or Perlino. 
That was a nice bald face. I like the liver, ch uh, black bay or liver chestnut. Go around that jump, go around the jump. This music is just so relaxing. Such a chill, chill, chill game. But yeah, Azure Coast, I really hope that we get to pick, that we find piles of sand on the beach. Or we can play in the water. Maybe there's a little bit of waves coming in, who knows? Where did the... Oh, you all are all over here. Okay. Excuse me, Bun Buns. We're going to go for this dark, what I think is a black bay. Oh, come on now. Bootsy. You have got all the pets right now, dear. Yes, you did. I've only been petting her for like an hour. And she's just like, no, it's not enough. I must have all the pets. And I even gave her breakfast too and she's complaining about that hey just silly girl where are you there you are funny kid cat okay so those are two chestnuts looks like a dark chestnut I want the bigger one first come here son Let's go around the trees. Child. <laughs> you are a hot mess. Okay, he's probably a good 16 hands, if not 15, three. So we can go after the other chestnut. See if I can push him back the other side. And then I'm curious to see if the black is, um, doesn't look like it's an onyx. Looks more like it might be a pearl or an ash black. Yeah, I'm going to get that other Cremello or Perlino. Didn't see any Tobianos this time. You can find a lot of Tobianos. Oh, 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 okay, I know. You're stuck. You're stuck. You're stuck. Settle down. Settle down. That's why I don't like these fences. Don't buy them from Liam. It's a trap. <laughs> child. She wants to be petted so she goes as far away from me as she can and then howls about it. It's like, really? Silly goose. Come on, sweetie. Into the pen. And I think we have just one more of that light chestnut. Yeah, I know. Somewhere around here. So if you're missing where, you know, there's one more horse, you don't know where they're at. Okay. Sorry about that. She's gotten up on the desk. She gotten up on my husband's desk and decided it was a good time to sniff around and act like she doesn't, doesn't know anything about this desk. I've never been up here before. Wow. This is interesting. She has been up there tons of times. She knows all about it. Tricky lady. Yes, you are. You're a tricky lady. Okay, so that is the last of our horses. Okay, so we'll, you were the last. I think you're pure storm. Look at that little white snip. Chestnut. Ooh, blue eyes. Green eyes. Ooh, red and green. Nice. Advanced, intermediate, 14-2 stallion. Yes, you're very handsome. Come here, sweetie. Dark bay. So that was close. It was a bay. Ooh, expert and advanced. 14-2 stallion. Nice, nice. This must be a herd of bachelors. Really? Or it could be wrong. Cremello. Looks like 
gold eyes, maybe? Three intermediates, one beginner, so not optimal. It's another stallion. You ho ho ho. Vibrant Cliff. Flax and Cremello. Interesting. Uh, one advanced. Um, and another stallion. This looks like it might be a, a bachelor herd. Watch this be the only mare. Pretty bald face. Just a plain black with a bald face. Really nice. No white feet at all. No white markings on the feet. Just the bald face. Nice. And sucky stats. And it's a stallion. So it is, it's a herd of bachelor stallions. Nice. <laughs> Did I get you handsome? I did not. Dark chestnut, okay. Advanced, advanced, and expert. Okay, so you're probably the chicken. Yep, it's a herd of bachelor stallions. And because this has this one has the most stats, two advanced and one expert. I'm gonna take him. And I didn't remember his name. And we're going to go to the auction and sell. Yep. And why did I just do that when I could have? That's okay. Just could have gone to the map and hit go to entrance. But no, 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 it's okay. <laughs> A little ride never hurt no one. So what I'm going to do is go to the stable and remember his name. Because he's the only one in the barn. I am going to put this guy out on the hitching post. Ardent Bison. Okay, sorry, buddy. Gonna put a star next to it. So I know you're very sweet. I know you're a good boy. But you're going to be sold. Sorry, love. We can go pick up hot chocolate again. That way I don't sell the wrong horse. If you do happen to sell the wrong horse or you know you accidentally hit it and it goes up on sale, you can exit out um, before the sale is finished and that should stop it. Or you can just you know basically log out of the game and then that should reset the day. So those are two things if you accidentally hit the wrong horse. Before the horse is sold, you should be able to hit, I think it's escape or back. Um, I think it's escape and that sh that'll kick you out of the auction. Um, I think I had that happen to me once before. So town, worst case scenario, log out of the game and restart it. That's pretty. That's another, I think it's Overo, I think. All right, so Ardent Bison. 13,000 for an untouched with all the pens maximized. Not terrible. That one stat, 18%, that one crappy stat. I don't know, maybe I should have fixed that stat and then sold it. Maybe we could have got 20. Fifteen k that's not bad. I'll take it. 16 one horse yeah so then I can you can look so if I click on night sky she's her base stat our base price is 26.5 antique deserts is 28.3 so it's not terrible so with him yeah we still need to work on his jump and his speed but we're out of we're out of potential, I think. Yeah, we're at zero potential. You can go around to all the other rings um, in each zone. Uh, somebody on the Discord has a guide on where each of those, each of these circles are in each zone. Um, so if you go into the Rancher Rivershine Discord and you look up guides, there's a little section called guides. Somebody has one and it's all the spots where in every zone where these circles spawn. 
I do not have that. I just do the ones that I remember. That's pretty. So there's this. There's a couple down this way, but I'm going to go back here first and then swing back around and loop. Excuse me, chickens. Because there's a couple more up here that you want to be sure and get. So we are getting a little tiny bit of potential. Oops, the trees are in the way. And also showing you all the spawn points for all the foliage, foliage. forageables. Wow, words are hard. <laughs> okay, oh, there's one back here. There's one back here. And there's the last one for this area is right across here. See, we've gotten some more energy. We've gotten some more money. And I think we got a few points of potential. Yep. So just doing that, we got, we got one point of potential. I think we lost, I think we lost one to speed somewhere. So if you trot, you won't lose any potential, but if you're doing if you're doing canter or galloping, you will lose. You can lose a potential to speed, or uh, if you're if you're galloping, you can lose one to endurance, which is fine. Just be aware that that's what you're doing. There are no uh, none of those circles appear on your ranch, but forageable circles do. <laughs> okay, I got the wild horses. <laughs> For a second, I was like, "Oh wait." I forgot something. I think it said that she was pregnant and just double checking. Okay, Lucky's not. Okay. <sighs> Hello, cuties. All the cutie babies. I need to brush beauty because it looks like she's a little dirty. Oh, yeah, she's a little dirty. Hi, gorgeous. So I sold off my Pintalusa Colts. These were both basically twins. Yeah, she's a she's a she's a sprout. She's a mare. <laughs> wow, words are just a little hard. Yep, and she had a copycat, different pattern, same coloration, which is great. So then we've got one, two, three, four, five. So we've got six folds. Yep, looks like we have about six folds right now in various stages. So we've got two Pentaluses here. Can't wait to see. So we're going to sleep for a couple of days. Or we're going to sleep. If Rai is pregnant, then we will um, go out, pull them out, and then, of course, go back and put another one in. See what we can do. Okay, looks like I got all the harvestables. So we sold a wild horse, not for a bad profit, did a little training, do a little dance. And she's pregnant and bubbly mouse grew to an adult. You can keep them in the pasture, the young, the young horses, you don't have to assign them to a stall. You can keep them in the pasture, but, um, yeah, that's, that's one way to, to have kind of an expanse. You can't interact with them. If you do that though, like you can't brush them, you can't give them trees and you can't take them out and train them. But that is one way to kind of have like a bit of an unlimited, uh, supply. So you're, that's the stallion. 
Look at how cute! Oh my goodness, they're so sweet. Just a couple more days. So Night Sky's baby, this guy over here, grew up. So this is what he looks like as a grown-up. Look how pretty he is. So see, it's going to say assign him to a stall. He's a yearling. Um, if you don't have it, you'll need to clear up an empty space. So you can't rush him. You can't do anything. But you can just leave him there. Um, you can either sell him or you can, you know, keep them and do another round of breeding. So I'm going to breed Night Sky again. We're just on a breeding spree. Look how cute they are, just prancing around. I don't have any mare that's ready to be. Yes, I do. Night Sky, she's ready. Her babies, she's not nursing anymore. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Willis? Oh, well, that's not what I wanted to do. Clearly says she's not a nursing mare. Um, she does have a little bit of potential. Let's go do her speed since I have her out. Uh, speed training. So if you are breeding, if you want to breed but you want to raise your horse's stats, you have to do it before you breed them. Because once you breed them, this, you can't just like, oh, I just bred her yesterday. She's, I'll just go increase her stats. No, doesn't work that way. So you, once you breed them, the stats are already set. So they pick from like a, a random mix between the stallion and the mare. Um, so when you want to breed them, you have to uh, do your training beforehand and, and raise up their stats. Otherwise, it's already set in stone kind of when um, you do the breeding. Okay, it says speed. It's now at 76. Jump could use a, a big bit of a help. Jump area. So first we're going to go get that circle that I know is over here. There are other circles around, but I don't feel like hunting for them. I just go where I know the, the closest ones are. So we've got a little bit of energy, which is great. So you saw there that we just got one point in speed. So you're basically training two stats. So our speed is 77, now our jump is 77. Endurance 85 and flex is 89 and we have 20% potential left. Now I could feed her a treat, but I'm not going to. So I'm happy for right now with that. I'm wondering um, let's just do the trail entrance. I'm wondering if, whoa, what in the blazes just happened here? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> All I did was go to the trail entrance. Okay, now we're... Okay, this is odd. This is definitely a glitch. <laughs> oh my god this is a glitch whoa because it looks like we're still sitting on the horse okay <laughs> all right we're backing out whoa okay whoa so there we go <laughs> what the hell was that no, no, I want to be out. I don't want to be in the round pen. That's not where I wanted to be in the beginning. All I did was go to the trail entrance, man. <laughs> what the heck was that kind of bug? Okay. There are still bugs in the game. It is early access. That was one of the weirder bugs I've had. Oh my goodness. All right, you're elegant. You don't need to do that. Uh, good girl. So you can pet. 
<laughs> it's craziness. I'm going to try and breed her again because technically, since the foal is weaned, she should be able to be bred again. Unless it's... Unless it's hitting that I haven't given her son a stall and they're like, yeah, no, you can't do that. So if we give him a stall. Okay, so then I'll, I'll just do back really quick. Let me just check this and see if that fixed that. And now it fixes it. So, okay, I guess that's a thing. Um... So let me see. Why does it circle back here? Because I know I have three stallions. There we go. I don't know if this is mother and mother and son. Um we're going to try it anyway and just see what a Pintaloosa and an Appaloosa breed. Probably nothing. And let me go, <laughs> let me go put him back out in the pasture. So that is kind of a, a glitchy type way to do it. Um, so you want to put sand. You want to give a brusha. I love his coat pattern. Can't wait to breed him. This is the problem with not having enough storage. Okay, so he's got his hunger taken care of. So then we'll send him back to the pasture. And we will slip. Look at him happy. We'll check our pear trees and then we'll sleep and see if the, um, if she gets bred overnight. If she does, then we'll we'll try and sleep a couple more days. If not, somebody I know what's going to happen is somebody's she's going to get pregnant. Somebody's going to grow up to be an adult or a yearling, and then I'm I'm just going to be too interested. So we're, we're just on this wild breeding spree. Just checking around, seeing what's going on, and I do have the retirement pasture. You can use the retirement pasture to store your horses. Again, they will lose all potential, but you can get it back. It's just going to be a bit of a struggle because you'll be using the statues and the circles. The circles make it a lot easier, but I don't know if they're giving you like a full point of potential or if it's only like a half a point or something like that. But the circles also give you statue fame, which increases the likelihood that you'll get, be able to get um, points from the statues. So it's kind of a win-win, a basically. Okay, so Night Sky is pregnant. Nobody grew up, but we're going to pull her out. Another round of horses in Pine Forest. We may or may not do that. I don't know. You never know if you don't go look, right? And I generally don't collect... All the flowers. I'm lazy. I'll just go to Orion and buy them. Um, it is nice to be able to craft um, from your inventory. That's great. I love it. But I'm just lazy. <laughs> I have the money. I'll just go spend it. Which is fine. There is nothing wrong with that. Look at you two. Okay. So you're pregnant. You've got, what, five more days? Five more days. Hello, cuteness. Okay, so it's saying that it, you notice, so her baby is right there. And you notice it doesn't say nursing mare. So what this means is tomorrow that baby is going to be a yearling. But for some reason it shows her a day early. It's another type of glitch. Um, it'll show them a day early that they're not nursing. And that lets you know that, oh, the baby's going to grow up tomorrow. Because if you look, it's already kind of tall. And it says, yes, Fluffy Leaf will become an adult tomorrow. So that's another way. <laughs> Just got to come in and, and photobomb, don't you? Um, that's another way to tell that they're about to grow up. 
what, okay, chill guys, chill. Did I not? Oh yeah, this is Bubbly Mouse, this is the Stallion, or Colt. And you, you're going to be an adult in four days. That's going to be one pretty baby. I don't know that we're going to keep who we're going to keep and who we're not going to keep. Because there's so many cute babies. So many cute babies. But we, you can have your own breeding farm. <laughs> and just keep making money by selling the babies. It's really hard when they're really cute patterns though. Because you're just like, oh, I could use that. And so maybe you keep them and breed them once. And then sell the the adult and then keep the full for a little bit breed that one and then sell it once it you know has a couple of babies and so you could do that as a rotating uh theme there's lots of different things you could do so we are just trying them all out and seeing what we can do and at some point eloise did say we will be will be able to adopt pets and customize our house what that's going to look like, I don't know. I don't know if there's going to be like placeables or if it's just going to be, uh, you can go through, there's like three or four different looks that you can pick from. That could be, an, that's probably what's going to be an option. Okay, so Fluffy Leaf did grow to an adult, so I'm going to sleep for a couple more days. See if we can get anybody else to grow up. Soft Blush grew to an adult, okay. and sleep one more time because I didn't get to the first part of it. Little B. So we've got three that have grown to adults or young adults. I'm not seeing anybody fall one yet though. Beauty hit a fall. Okay. So we did not go and do the pine forest herd obviously. It's fine. It's not like I, I have an empty stall right now. <laughs> Technically, I have too many horses. Oh, look at you. Look how cute you are. Aw, you're, so, you're tiny though. My God. 14 hands even. This is going to be a very short horse. Very nice horse. Nice stats. You can see they're probably in the 70s and 80s. Oh, and there's another one. This is our other one of our other foals. Soft blush. I might sell her. Or I could sell her. So there's two of our yearlings. Both of them are kind of small on the small side. They're still growing. So don't don't let that fool you. They're still growing. This is our third yearling. This is Fluffy Leaf. She's 14-2. Um, not bad, not bad. We might sell, we might sell, oh, I don't want to sell the Pintalooses, but we might. Oh, this is Beauty's Fall. Look at this. Oh, look how cute. Oh my God. Did she have a Pintalusa? She did have a Pintalusa. Holy crap. A silver coal black Pintalusa. Nice. Good job, Beauty. Look how cute this is. So she's got the silver, just means the white mane and, ta mane and tail. And coal black is, there's four types of, uh, four variations of black color. So we're, we're on the way here. Let's get you. Look how tiny she is. Or he is. Okay, so that's nice. So who, wait, who is your dad? Who did I bid you to? Spot keep. Okay. So, <laughs> you just got a photo bomb, don't you? So I bred her to my stallion, my stallion who was a Pintalusa, and then Beauty is, I think this is Spot Keep. This is who I bred her to, bred the mom to. So and we had an ash black Pintalusa and to a dapple black, um, just a dapple black. What is she? She's dapple black Tobiano. Didn't realize she was a Tobiano. So we bred a Pintalusa to a Tobiano. We could have gotten either or um, because this, this, these two patterns don't interact per se. You'll either get um, the Tobiano or you'll get the Pintalusa. So we got a Pintalusa 
And we got a different variation because the dad was ash black, so we got a coal black. Um, the other is pearl and onyx, are the other two types of black. So nice. Very, very nice. So now I just have to decide what do I want to do. I can try and breed, but I don't think um, it's, I think Eloise has made it so that you can't, yeah, see I don't have any because I haven't assigned a stall. Once you assign a stall to the others, see I'm going to sell, I'm going to sell her. I think I can, I only have two stalls open. So I think, look how cute she is. Oh my gosh. So this is our Tovero. This is a Colt. And I don't have any, actually I don't have any open stalls yet. So I could sell those two. I think I'm going to sell all three of these yearlings, although this one I dearly don't want to sell to. Because um, he's a black Pentalusa, but we can get other black, other Pentalusas. So let me go... Oh, I need a horse. <laughs> I need a horse. My kingdom for a horse. Here you are. Went right by you, baby. So yeah, I've got. I'm gonna sell Fluffy Leaf. I'm gonna make sure all the um, the care is done. And you're not hungry. I thought I assigned. So I don't have any others. Yeah. So I'm gonna to have to sell my foals or my yearlings. Um, look how short they are, though. You can tell definitely how short they are compared to the adults. Very short. So we're going to take, which is this one? This is bubbly mouth. So we're going to, we're going to sell. Do I want to sell my onyx black? I really like her. I like them all. What am I kidding? We're just going to sell the whole crop. Um, full, full, really hate selling the pentalooses. Look at these guys. So cute. Oh, you need a little bit of a brush up, don't you, Golden? Here, we'll use a hard brush. Make you sell party. Now, like I said, the um, retirement pasture holds up to about 16 is where I have it right now. I think I have one more. I think I have one more spot that I can buy, but maybe not. I might have bought all of them. I can check with Liam and see. Or upgrade, rather. Not spots. Upgrades. So, and then the way to determine... So, Blushing Pearl, you can says, see it says Healthy Adult Mare, Soft Blush, Adult Filly. So, she's going to sell for almost 20 so she's my dappled buckskin, which is really, I love the, the buckskins and the dapples, but you know. So you can apply dapples to every color. So you can get a dapple pentalusa. It's just going to take breeding the, um, you have to have a dapple. Hopefully on both of them, but that's a mare. So blushing pearl, mare, spot keep. Little B is the Colt. He's selling for twenty-four thousand. He's my dapple black Tovera. That was Beauty's full. I think it was Beauty's full. So twenty-six. Oh, twenty-seven thousand. Damn, son, almost thirty k. Look at all the stats, though. And then Bubbly Mouse is selling for twenty. She's my Onyx black. So we're getting all the pentalooses out in the breeding world. <laughs> she might go for 20. I love this pentalooses pattern. 21. Nice. And she hit 22. Oh my goodness. She was popular. Okay. And then we have Fluffy Leaf selling for 18. And that I think is due to her stats. I didn't raise her mom's stats up high enough. But she might hit 2021. 20, She's 16 hands. Dang, girl. 20.5, 20, 20, 20. not bad. So soft blush is my other cult. 
think this was Smokey's Colt. Black Pentalusa, yep. Really pretty. Love that soft pattern. Looks like it's the, the Tobiano pattern. In fact, it is a Tobiano pattern just with the like an overlay of spots and stuff. So that's all our horses that we're going to sell. Sweet Sprout is one of my mares. Yeah. So we have just hit our million dollars in funds. So that is fantastic. Let's go get these. What you could do too is you could put, uh, if you had favorite horses like the ones that I just, uh, like these, like this one, keep their kids, put them in the retirement pasture if you're, if you don't want to sell them. And then you have, oops, then you can always pull them back out. Uh, we're going to go to the stable again because that was a nightmare going to the other place. So now we can breed all our mares again. But I think that is where we're going to leave it. So I will see you next time. Thank you so much for coming in um, for our next breed. We'll do breeding again and see what we get. I'll try and maybe get a few new mares, put this crop in the retirement pasture or sell them and get some new ones. And then we'll see where we go. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye now.